here is my uh, tracker project uh, back up and running again after a couple of years so I have a bong that uh, you get for wine making or beer making and I have a tube and the tube lets out the water now you can imagine in a tracking situation this just comes down slowly like this over the course of the day and then this uh, container in here slowly drops down over the course of the day and um, pulls I can't actually show you it pulling that so, because this is the amount of play we have on it so I've changed this around quite a bit so I've still got the uh, these I had to just hold them in place a bit better uh, I don't know what you can see in here but there is a um, uh, crank from a bike and this is the other side of it and this is uh, I'm calling that a universal um, solar mount because I have this here so this would be if I, if I ever did solar cooking on it I would attach this now I couldn't uh, I went to a place it's called Re uh, Recyclistas in town and they gave me oh yeah I can show you down here so you see I've just cut off the crank there and then I've got the um, whatever the 50 uh, the um, <sighs> I've got I've got this side of it here and I've just cut off the crank and drilled the hole in and then I've screwed hole um, it's a different type and the holes are out here so I've screwed it onto the plywood at the bottom and back and what that means is this can move um, well it can't move because it's chained up but this can move and this will stay steady so when you're doing solar cooking you would um, have this moving with the um, oh what do you call it the um, reflector would be moving on this to track the sun and this provides your steady um, um, place to sit your cooking pot so your reflector is going around and uh, with the reflection on, on the bottom of the cooking pot all day and the cooking pot just uh, sits you know somewhere on this so it could be up could be up here could be up here and um, but this is just a way of uh, having the inside move and the outside not move in here I've got the top of one of these um, uh, paint or drywall buckets and that's my um, uh, this is how the wire is attached around so I can't actually sh what I've done is I put these little marks on it so I can it moves slowly so you, you can barely see it move but see it's got this amount of play in it right now and I could tighten this up more and it have less play but it's only a demo so like uh, 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 this weighs empty it weighs <coughs> what does it weigh two kilos and to turn this to get through the rolling resistance you need about three kilos so this empty would nearly work to um, to pull this but uh, there are now about 22 kilos of water and brick in it so it's plenty heavy there's uh, 20 liters of water and there's the two bricks too so or 21 so it's about 22 23 kilos plus so 20 25 kilos of weight in this so it's hugely ample to move this and um, uh, and I have 
I have let out, I have tried it a bit and it does move. So then there's various, there's just a gazillion ways of controlling this. See like you can, you could have it on some sort of a stepper motor or something that just goes down, goes down, goes down every 15 minutes or whatever. And that will be enough to keep this solar panel lined up with the sun because as this goes down that m turns around and um, yeah I'm gonna leave that there. Thanks.